What's up enthusiasts? Today we're talking about this. This is the 3D printed solid Kronos holster and this thing is probably my favorite piece that this company has come out with to date. They've always done some really cool looking stuff, a lot of aesthetic mod pieces and uh, dart holders, barrel attach and stuff like that. Uh, and a few holsters here and there. This is the first one that really caught my eye and I really wanted to check out. Now, this one isn't actually mine. This one's actually Thundercrunks. He was nice enough to lend this to me to do this review, to test out for a little while. And I have to say, overall, I really, really am enjoying this. There's a couple little things that uh, I would maybe tweak or change here and there. We'll get into those in a little bit. Right off the bat, let's let's talk about price. This is $45 for one. And if you want two for your each leg, one for each leg, they are $80 uh, US. That's not a low price point for a holster. Granted, there is a lot here. There's a lot of 3D printing involved in this big, big piece to hold the Kronos. And then it comes with the drop leg platform itself as well. So this goes onto your belt loop uh, of your pants or belt, whatever, or your battle belt, whatever piece belt you have. This will go onto that and then it will strap onto your legs with adjustable Velcro straps that buckle in. And again, as well, something that's nice about most drop leg platforms is there is a buckle up here at top. I think this one, oh, this one has a lock as well. It looks like, so it doesn't fall out. Yeah, there we go, almost. There we go. So you can take it off and not have this hang off if you wanna run in a game where you don't wanna run this. It's just, it's those nice little things. This one having that extra little lock, push lock here is actually kinda of nice so it won't accidentally fall off, which is a plus, I would say. Uh, now, in terms of the retention system itself, it's this one little kind of knob here that, that pushes in when you put the Kronos in the holster, and that retention is what holds it in. It holds it in enough when it's upright, uh, but I did notice, granted, I don't think anyone's ever going to run this upside down, but the retention is light enough that it doesn't uh, stay in if it's upside down and jostling, so... If for any reason you're ever upside down at a game, it may come out, but that's not really a situation I don't think many people are going to be encountering. So a bit of a non-issue. Uh, I was just kind of testing how well this stayed in. This will stay in pretty well for most situations. It will, if you are really, really jostling it, it will come out, um, which is a bit, a bit of a bummer. Um, that said, I don't know how much you will encounter that at most games. Most people I know, uh, if they're running a drop leg holster at a game, it's usually not a game where you're full on sprinting as fast as you can, as hard as you can, and jumping and diving around. Uh, but that may not be the case for everybody. There may be people that like to run in LARPs that uh, may need to do some of that, and that may be a factor that is something you consider. This does come in red and black, by the way. Um, you can either get this in red or in black. Uh, I would like it if there were more options, you know, I, I definitely like my options, my color options and whatnot. Um, as far as function and use, it's pretty good. It slides in pretty nice and it, it has a very satisfying feel. It clicks in, it holds, um, for the most part, like we talked about fairly well. Uh, one thing I did encounter is if you don't put it in directly evenly, it can actually slip up like this. So if you come in at a slight angle, it won't go in and it'll it'll bounce off kind of like that. So what I've started to try and do is go in at a bit of a, like, so if you're coming down, go in a bit of an angle so it makes sure it goes in the right way. That's kind of how I have started to do this. Um, overall aesthetics, I really like the way this looks. It's big, it's boxy, it's bulky, but that kind of matches with the, the Kronos, you know, look. It's not exactly a tiny blaster. It's not exactly uh, a streamlined looking smooth. It's chunky, it's boxy. It's kind of necessary for the rival rounds and everything to function inside of it. But this kind of fits right along with it in my opinion. And it works, it works. It does, it does what I want it to. Um, it does have a hole there at the bottom so you can, you know, accidentally discharge a round if you pull the trigger and uh, that'll, that'll come flying out the bottom of your leg, which could be a bit awkward. But what is kind of cool is you can still access the inside here from the holster, which I think is a really nice, nice thing. So you can pop it open and if you're just running around at a game and you wanna, wanna reload, 
you can have that open and just kind of boop, 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 and then you're back in and, you know, obviously you don't want to do that when it's loaded, but it's just some nice little function things here and there. Uh, the drop leg platform is a contour kind of like hard plastic uh, leg piece with the two Velcro belt buckle straps to adjust to your size. Um, I guess I have a somewhat small leg because I had to wrap all the way around to the opposite side to get it to stick, but it's good that there's Velcro on the opposite side, so I, I could do that. Um, for, for what it is, I like it overall. Overall, I enjoy it. I don't know that it's for everyone at the price point it is. It is, you know, it, it's a little bit expensive for a holster in the Nerf hobby currently, but I dig the aesthetic. I like the way it feels. Um, one more little thing that I want to add actually is the way this this sits in it's 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 like screwed in or grommeted in or something like attached into this this plastic platform it could actually be nice if in the future they did sort of a modular system for this where uh, this could actually come off the leg panel piece and say you have like a belt piece that you could attach this to kind of like uh, you'll see with some airsoft systems for pistol holders uh, holsters and uh, i feel like that could be kind of a nice touch so you feel like maybe you're getting a little bit more flexibility with it maybe in some levels you don't want it hanging off your leg you want it on your belt or the back of your vest or something like that you know maybe just give a few more options but overall I like the product. It's not perfect. There's a few things that can be tweaked. Like I talked about a little bit of the retention. If you're sprinting a lot and bouncing around a lot at games, that could be a small issue for you. And then the other major issue was the, uh, if you're not coming in at the right angle, it can shoot off and not go in. Uh, those are my two biggest gripes with it, but overall I, I like it. I, like I said, I dig the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It, 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 it fits. It fits the Kronos in my opinion. And uh, overall, it's probably one of my favorite products from this company. Uh, if you want to go check one of these out, I'll have the link down below in the info. Again, a big thank you to Thunderkronk for letting me borrow this to test out. Also, the Kronos to test out. So um, thank you to him again. And like I said, link will be down below for this if you want to check it out. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for, for more in the future. And let me know what you think about this product and holsters in general, drop leg platforms in general for Nerf products. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.